Guess who this is? Well, it's yours truly, Guy Atchley, at the age of 19, getting ready to go to work as a stock boy at a Sears store in Oklahoma. People often ask me where in Oklahoma I'm from, and when I say Sepulpa, people usually get this quizzical look like, where is that? It's in the northeastern part of Oklahoma, just a few miles from Tulsa, and that's where I want to take you tonight, back to my hometown, which, like Tucson, is rich in history. His name was Chief Sepulpa, a Creek Indian. His territory became the town of Sepulpa in Creek County, Oklahoma. Around the turn of the century, it was a bustling metropolis thanks to oil and the railroad. About that time, a couple of newlyweds, Elijah and Oma Atchley, my grandparents, arrived from Tennessee aboard a horse-drawn wagon. A few years later, their son Earl, my father, proudly posed with his Model T in downtown Sepulpa. I believe Dad was standing fairly close to here when he took that picture. Quite a few of the old buildings are still standing, but some of them have new facades. The Creek County Courthouse hasn't changed. There's the old high school where I won a speech contest, which gave me thoughts about being on TV. But the old railroad depot where Gene Autry once worked as a telegraph operator is long gone, replaced by hardly more than a shed. I walked along these railroad tracks to school many days, then back home again, over to North 2nd Street. A lot of memories there. But the years don't erase the memories. Grandma Ashley on her front porch, Mom and Dad posing for the Super 8, Sister Joe playing in the snow, and Sister Erlene, who was only four feet six because of polio, making her weekly trek to Sunday school. Of course, there was me. I was quite a bit younger than my two sisters. All these years later, when I come back to this house, the nostalgia never fails to sweep over me, especially when I hear a certain voice. Who is it? <laughs> oh, God! God! Hi. Mama, I wanted to see you so much. Hi, whoever you are. <laughs> oh, God! How are you? Come on in. Mom loves Christmas so much, she still had her tree up when I surprised her in mid-January. And as you can tell, she has an exuberance for life despite her 85 years. But I, I don't mind being 85. I feel just as good as I did when I was younger. There is one other place I visit whenever I come home, South Heights Cemetery. It's here where many of the people who have meant so much to me during my life are laid to rest. Dad is here, as well as my sister, Erlene. When she was young and suffering from the effects of polio, Erlene wrote something in her diary that inspires me to this day. She had found a little silver cross, and she wrote, gosh, it just looks like a sign of encouragement at a time when I need it most. I put it on, and I hope it will keep my hopes and morale up. Love, me. Today, with that little house of memories 1,000 miles away from my study in Tucson, I still hold on to Earlene's cross as a reminder that regardless of the circumstances, you can be stronger than anything that can happen to you. She was my guiding light. Oh, that was so beautiful. Thank you for sharing with us. Thank you.